So we are talking this morning about mask meanness. You've, you might have heard the term before, people fighting back against pandemic restrictions on social media, on public, just fighting with each other. Some of this resistance has gotten physical. I mean, we've seen videos of it. You know, they've gone viral and headlines, you know, people being attacked over masks and other things. So our therapist expert Joshua Magianis is here to discuss a little bit more on this disturbing trend. Joshua, we love having you. Good morning. Hi, Liz. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. Absolutely. So we're hoping you can shed some light for us here because we have seen a ton of stories of people getting attacked over masks, um, even like violent confrontations. What is causing this aggressive response? Yeah. Well, I mean, in short, I think, you know, folks are at their wits end. They're, you know, we've been quarantined for 16 months and, you know, the, the world, frankly, right, has been in disarray based on some of our rights or privileges being taken away. Um, and rather than looking at, you know, what has been taken away, how can we help each other has really been tested. And so as folks have gone into this isolation period and this quarantine, like folks fight or flight response has been stunted a little bit. And so there's nowhere for it to go. And when we hold on to this anxiety internally, right, we, we need it to get out somewhere and to put it somewhere. And so what naturally do we do is when that person cuts us off or confronts us, whether we're wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, it comes out there because we have to put it somewhere. We have to project this energy out onto something or someone. I do feel like, you know, compared to being sad or, you know, maybe feeling depressed, I do feel like that anger is a very active emotion. So I, I get what you're saying when you have to sort of put it somewhere. When we feel those feelings, I mean, we have all been frustrated during this pandemic. How do, how do, we, how do we deal with this a little bit better than maybe we have? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we've got to take a self-evaluation, right? And one of the things I do before I leave my house is I kind of test myself, like, where are you at today, Josh? You know, how are you feeling? And being honest with myself about, well, I'm feeling very anxious. You know, I don't know what's going to come about in the city or just in my day-to-day. -day. And I, I really do believe uh, taking that two minutes, three minutes to just breathe before you leave your house and check in with self. Also, you know, if you're feeling stressed or you're feeling a little anxious about maybe having to going into the office for the first time or uh, going to an event where there might be more than 10 or 15 people, right? Maybe take a different route, drive a different way so that you can work through some of the anxiety that is happening internally. Because what we want to do when we go into that fight or flight response is, well, we want to just lash out, which is what we're seeing on TikTok and other social media um, uh, platforms, right? Or we want to flee and we want to leave away from environments that may be good for us, actually. You know, being social with, with individuals might be a good thing. But when we're not bringing our best selves, that's when we've got to really check in. I mean, I do. I, I feel like we all see these moments and we see them on social media and we see them in real life and we're going, what is going on with this world? I mean, in your professional opinion, is are, are we just going down the wrong path or can are things going to get better? I mean, is this always going to be this way? Well, I think what has happened, and I think I've said this before, you know, the, the United States, we live a very privileged life. And so something like this has been taken from us. And so it's like, whoa, wait a minute, you can't do this. And so now we're like a child, right, throwing a tantrum and trying to figure out how to reintegrate, how to re-socialize with the world around us, how to make nice. And I truly believe folks etiquette has kind of left us a little bit. And so it's relearning those basic skills on how to be in social um, environments, how to be in relationship with one another. And, and really it does come down to how do I do my part to support everyone as well? I love that. Maybe getting back to a bit of that community mindset. How do I do my part? I really like that. Joshua, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We certainly appreciate it. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me, Liz. We'll spread a little bit of positivity, hopefully. <laughs> thank you. All right, <laughs> 948.